Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the WordPress video series. In this video, I'll show you how you can customize the blog page in the Spectra One theme. I'm using Spectra One theme in this dummy website and now we are going to customize the blog page. I have not created a blog page yet. I'll show you how you can create the blog page and show all the blog posts on the blog page. Let me show you the default layout of the blog post in the Spectra One theme. This is a single blog post not the blog page this is a single blog post now i want to create a blog page for this website here i have some blog posts that i want to show on a single blog page so first i'm going to create a blog page so let's go to the pages and click on add new name it as blog and click publish so we have created a blog page. So you might have already created a blog page and you may want to customize it. So we will go to that also. Let's close this one. So we are back to the dashboard. Let's go to settings and go to reading. Under reading settings, we need to assign the newly created blog page as the post page. So all the posts will be shown on this page. So let's click on save changes. So now we have assigned this page as the post page. Now let's go back to pages and this is the blog page let's view this one now you will see that we have marked this one as post page now this is the default layout of the blog page in the spectra one theme these are the latest blog post all right so we need to customize this one we need to change everything so let's go back to the dashboard and go to appearance and go to editor under editor section, you will see all these options, navigation, styles, pages, templates, and patterns. In the previous videos, I have shown you how you can customize the shop page in WooCommerce website using the Spectra One theme, as well as I have shown you how to customize the single product page using the Spectra One, how you can customize header and footer section. If you want to watch those videos, I'll give you the links in the description box. So let's go back to the dashboard. We are on the editor section. Let's go to templates. Under templates, you will see all these templates that you can customize. This is the product catalog, nothing but the shop page. And here you will see single post. Scroll up, you will see this option, blog, home. And you will see this option also, index. So this is the index. And on the index page, you will see all the blog post. You will see it like this. Now let's go back. And let's go to block home that we need to customize. So this is the template which is used for the blog post. You will see it here, block title. This is the title. And let's go to edit. Now here we can customize everything. Let's go to the list view. And we have the header here. And below that we have group. So you will see all these options here. Now I do not want all these options here. I just want to show only the blog post on this page. So this is the option here, letters from the blog. And if I highlight it, you will see that option here. Below that we have group. This is your build your own website. So I'm going to delete this one. Now, if you want to keep all these sections, you can keep them. Otherwise you can delete them. So I'm going to delete all these sections. I'll keep the top section only. So let's go to this one, delete. All right, so now we have only two sections, the top section and the blog post. So all the blog posts will be shown here. Currently we have five blog posts. Let me show you, let's go to dashboard, go to post, and you will see five blog posts are there. I need to customize this one so i'm going to delete i just want the block title here so i'm going to delete all these blocks from here now you can see that i have only the title here which i'm going to change also let's name it as my blog let's add some padding below let's go to group and go to customization and for the bottom padding this is the zero it shows zero so i'm going to add some padding here let's say 50 pixel 
this one looks good all right so this is looking good if i close this one this is how it will look let's close this one and you will see the header section at the top then we have my blog title then we have all the blog post here let's go to list view again and open the settings now here we have the latest title this is the title i do not want that also so i'm going to delete now this is the query loop which is going to show all the blog posts so click on it if i expand this one you will see post template and no results so yeah, let's go to post template if you want to customize this one this is the query loop and this is the layout you will see the settings for the layout you can change the content width from here settings for the query layout if you want to disable it on desktop lab tablet or mobile you can select this option from here now here you will see we have set the post type to show on this query loop so if you have woocommerce you can select products and it will show the products of the woocommerce website so instead of blog post it is going to show the products let's change back to post and it will show the post right now let's click on this option post template expand it and what do we have here we have post featured image this is the post featured image if i click on it it will select the featured image and you can change the settings for the image from here if i go here you will see the overlay if you want to add overlay you can add overlay just like this and you can also change the overlay color so this one looks good you can change the opacity all right let's go to settings again and this image is going to be linked to the blog post so if someone clicks on this image it will go to the blog post if you want to open it in new window you can enable this one if you want to hide it on the desktop tablet or mobile you can enable from here then we have stack under stack we have expand it you will see categories this will show it here then we have title this is the title if you want to change the color you can change it from here this is the link color all the titles are linked back to the blog post so it shows link color you can change it from here let's use this one and right now it shows the h4 title h4 tag if you want to change it you can change it for the categories you can select category and from here you can change the color settings for the category so this is how it will look all right so i'm not going to make any changes here let's leave it as it is and if you can also change the typography you can change the color you can change the font size font family font weight you can also change the padding for the categories now below that we have a row again a new row if i expand it you will see these tags are added so this will show the author so i do not want author so i'm going to delete that one select that one and click delete so it will remove the author then we have paragraph i do not want that so i'm going to delete and this is the post date if you want to show the date of the blog post you can show that otherwise if you do not want you can delete that all right so let's undo this so this is going to show the blog post published date now if you want to add more blogs you can click on the plus sign here and search for the blogs and you will see all these blogs are available so if i select post you will see post content post author post author name post date so this is the post date and this is the comment form so that will be used on the blog post on the single blog post you will see post list carousal if you want to show the carousal you can show the carousal also post grid so we are using the post grid this is the post timeline so these are the spectra elements i have published a detailed video on how to use the post timeline or the post grid using the spectra plugin if you want to watch those videos i will give you the links in the description box all right now let's close this one and close this one so this is how it will look open it and let's go to the group if i go to post template here you will see how many columns you want so you can increase the columns let's say four columns 
or five columns or let's make it three columns so you can control the columns from here now if you want to change the image size you can go to featured image option and from here you can select the image size so here you will see original ratio you will see the original aspect and you can change it from here if you want square you can select the square and all the images will be shown in the square 16 by 9 so this is the height if you do not want you can simply delete that one and it will show the original ratio of the image so you can use 16 by 9 or you can use square or use original so when i use original some featured image are vertical and some featured images are horizontal so that's why it's not looking good so you can select one of these options let's use 4 by 3 so all the featured images will be shown in this aspect ratio let's change it to square if i close it you will see it like this all right so we have not saved the changes yet let's go to the pages and let's open the block page so this is the default layout so i'm going to save the changes and let's refresh it and you will see the changes that we apply to the block page template you will see all the blocks so right now we have only five blog posts and it is showing all the five blog posts here so here i think we need to increase the content width so let's go back go to list view and this is the group let's go to query loop and if i go here under layout you will see the content let's change it to percentage and change it to let's say 90 it should use the 90 percent of the width so this is how it will look let's save it let's refresh it and now you will see the content width is increased so this one also looks good now if you want to change the background color you can change the background color you will see all the customization settings here in the right hand side let's see how does this look on the mobile and this is how it will look on the mobile device now if you want to change the width on the mobile device you can change that also so on the mobile it will use 95 percent of the width let's go to tablet and this is how to look on the tablet and this is for the desktop let's click save let's go back we are back to the navigation right now it, it is set to show only 10 posts per page if you want to increase this number you can change it from here here i have only five blog posts but if you have more than 10 or 20 blog posts you can set that number here so if you set this number to let's say 20 then it will show 20 blog posts on this page and at the bottom it will show the pagination to go to the next page of the remaining blog post so this is how you can customize the blog page using the spectra one theme so that's it for now see you in the next video do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools if you have any questions, please leave us message in comment section and press the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching quick tips.